Hello! <laughs> Welcome to an unboxing video of a super pretty pen that I actually picked up in person at the Chicago Pen Show, which was like, I don't know, March? April. May. It was recent. Ugh. Listen, I can't even remember what I did this morning, let alone what I did like a month ago. Anyway, at the Chicago Pen Show, I was like visiting the Van Ness Pens table and Carrie was there of Fountain Pen Day and he was like, oi! <laughs> He didn't say oi, but um, they had the lineup of their new Estabrook SD pens. And he was like, hey, do you want to check one out to review? And I was like, that's a really pretty pen. Yes, I do. So I was able to pick my finish and my nib and I picked it up in person. So it's like super exciting. And so this is what I'm going to unbox, even though you've already seen it. Let me show you the packaging. Really simple box. I hate packaging. So I like when boxes are small. It's a small box. I like that because like relatively, it's like a small box. It's got the sleeve. We don't want a sleeve. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna just tell you, the box freaks me out. It's got like this, like a, like a textured feeling. Um, it's, it's smooth, it's like silky-ish. It's got the Estabrook logo. It's really cute, but it freaks me out. This feeling freaks me out. I, I'm just weird. It is magnetic. I like magnetic boxes. Very simple. Now, this particular box had a, this is not the fault of Mountain Pen Day or Kerry or Van Ness. Uh, a, an ink cartridge exploded in here from like a previous thing because I didn't take the box. This is my friend's box. His ink cartridge exploded, but I'm just gonna show it to you. So don't judge my pen based on his box, please. Now, here's why the box freaks me out, okay? So it opens up and I'm like, is this gonna open? Like, is it gonna fall apart? It doesn't fall apart. But what freaks me out is like this like rounded cushion. It's like a round little bed that <laughs> the pen sits on. So I'm gonna stick it in. It's got an elastic, the pen, it's really secure, but like something about it just totally freaks me out. This is a very biased commentary on the packaging because round surfaces like this freak me out. Okay, they remind me of like the, the ridges of a raisin. I don't know. Um, what I do like is that it opens, it's like a little display for the pen. I think that's really cool. Very simple, so I appreciate that. Now it comes with a little paperwork. The paperwork tells you, since 1858, Estabrook writing instruments have played a significant role in the history of America, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, Estabrook left us and it has been revived in what I must say is a really good way. They've done a really good job of bringing Estabrook back in attractive, decent pens that are still functional with the older Estabrook nibs. So it's a really, they've done a really good job with this. Now you can have a warranty by emailing your information to info at estabrookpens.com. Um, one year warranty, standard issue for like modern fountain pens, right? Anyway, I like this. I like that it's really simple. I just don't want a lot of paperwork with my pens. I don't want stuff to deal with. So although the box freaks me out because of the like freaky little pillow, I appreciate that it's very simple. So thank you, ah, Hester Brooke. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move the box out of the way. I'm gonna show you something about the pen. This is the tortoise with gold trim. You can also get silver colored trim and it's very simple. Okay, so the resin is like semi-translucent, like brown, tan, yellow. Um, dark brown. It almost looks black in a couple of the flecks, but it's not. It's just like a really dark brown. It had. It comes with a standard international converter, or it also uses cartridges. Uh, it cannot be eyedroppered because I know a lot of you are probably wondering. The reason it cannot be eyedroppered is is because the section here is metal. Here is my converter inked with something, and let me just tell you, there is an O-ring on the section of the regular like number six nib and when you close it it's very satisfying because it's like a it's like a oh yeah i'm shut i'm snuck you know your barrel's not gonna open up if you like toss it in your bag really satisfying i like that feeling also the cap now the cap when you cap it it's got a cushion cap so if you just uncap it without holding it it'll just pop a little um, it's not going to go flying across the room, fortunately, but the feeling might remind you of like the platinum slip and seal mechanism. It functions in the same way. Um, I find that it does help the pen not dry out. 
So it's actually really great in that regard. Other than that, it's very simple. Clip, it says Esterbrook, right? It's engraved with Esterbrook and gold filled to match the trim. And you've got a barrel ring and a section ring and an O-ring on the inside. Other than that, there's nothing to it. It is a number six Jovo nib. This is steel, super comfy. You kind of know what to expect with a Jovo nib. This one is actually like stellar, super juicy, super smooth, no skips, no hard starts. You'll see it in action. Really comfortable in hand. I find it, this is um, the regular size. You can get an oversize. I think this one's great. The cap can post. I'm not super keen on posting it. It's like, it's a little long. Um, because the cap isn't super heavy, it's not unbalanced, but I just find it long. Now, the the the, the details of the pen. Um, let me tell you a story, okay? I was hesitant to review one of these because I have two friends who have this pen, this exact color. And one of them had a barrel that broke twice. Now let me show you where the barrel broke. So, if you unscrew that, his barrel broke right here so the band and like right where the band is and the barrel just like cracked off and so he got it replaced and it happened again and the same thing happened with hers and i was like oh that's that's terrible and now we have seen this we and only this color and um not the green which is like cracked green and the black neither of those had seemed to have this issue. So I was like, oh, I don't want to review that pen. I was like, ah, I just like don't want to invest in buying this pen. I'm like, eh, I'm not really sure. But as it turns out, this was a problem. Let me show you the broken barrel, okay? This is a problem that happened in the first run of the tortoise pens. So it just like cracked right here, right at the section thread to the barrel bit, what it, like where the ring is attached, okay? So it just like cracked off. And um, so I was like really hesitant and I just didn't want to do it. But as I said, this is a problem that happened in the first run and uh, Kenro and Estherbrook, they're aware of this and they are doing a fantastic job of making sure everybody who has this problem is taken care of. So if you have this problem, just contact them and they'll fix you up. So I think that's fantastic because they could also be like, yeah, wow, you broke your own pen not our problem, but they are fully aware that this is a, an issue and they have fixed it. So not only have they fixed it by replacing the barrels with ones that are not broken or breakable, they are acknowledging that this is an issue. So they're fixing it like twofold and I appreciate that. So then I was like, okay, I'm cool with this. I like, I feel comfortable testing this pen. I feel comfortable carrying it and I feel comfortable reviewing it so I can tell you this story, which sounds like it's gonna be really negative, but it's not. So that's the story of the broken barrels and how it was remedied, I think. Yeah, okay. Let me just have a sip of my juice, please. Delicious. Now, the last thing, these pens, um, 156 US as is, but one of the great things I said uh, about this revival of Esterbrook is they've made them compatible with the old Esterbrooks. And by that, I mean, you can purchase a little adapter section, which accommodates the vintage Esterbrook nibs, which is amazing. So the downside is you don't have that little O-ring, so you don't get that like really satisfying, like closed feeling, but, and also the section is black. Not a big deal for me. Um, some people really only like color match sections, but I mean, you can use any of the Esterbrook, like the vintage nibs, on your modern SD. So if you hate dealing with like levers and stuff like that, this is amazing. Plus, let's be honest, this tortoise is gorgeous. Gorgeous. So the nib that I have is a 9128, which is the fine flexible, extra fine flexible. There's also a 9048, which is a fine flexible. They're all numbered. It's like really confusing because there's so many numbers and there's so many nib options. But those are my two favorites, and I got this here. And on this cracked ice, green, cracked pine, we have the 9048. So let's stop looking at my face. Let's go down to my desk and see how this nib writes, this nib writes, 
we can see how everything looks like up close and personal. And I'm probably gonna steal this from my friend and show you how this nib writes too, because it's super fun. That was a lot of rambling. Uh, hopefully I didn't overwhelm you. Thank you so much to Carrie and Van Ness for making this review possible. I know that these are really exciting new pens. They're really popular. And I'm happy to tell you that the issues with the breaking of the barrel has been, they're working on fixing it. So there is a plan in place. Everything is good to go. And that's everything. So I really like mine. It's super pretty. Let's see how it writes. Toodaloo. Okay, hello. Welcome to the writing portion of this video. So I have the, um, the Estabrook tort uh, Esty in the tortoise here and also in the green, cracked green, I think it's called. It's not mine, so I can never remember. On this one, I have just the regular nib. It is the um, steel broad, broad. And on this one, it is already equipped with the MV adapter and the nib is the 9048 Fine Flexible. So the extra unit I have here is the N128 Extra Fine Flexible. So after I write with this, I will put this on there and we'll see what it looks like. What it looks like in action. So let's do a couple quick words with this bad boy here. It's um, really smooth, not like skipping on the page smooth, but like really smooth, really pleasant. It's really well tuned, really well adjusted. I'm very happy about that. It's pretty wet. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. Sorry about that. Forgot to mute my computer. Should you care why you're being blinded by this ink? It is Colorverse Adobe and I'm in sunshine, so. It's blinding. However, there you go. You could see that this nib is totally flawless. I actually inked it like two days ago. Um, it's been sitting around for, I don't know, like 24 hours. It still works really well. So I'm super happy with the performance of this nib. Nothing like, I mean, the Jovo steel nibs are kind of a known, like you know what it's gonna write like, but it's really pleasant and sometimes they can be over polished. This one is not. It works really well. I'm really happy with it. So here is the, um, uh, this is the, what's it called? The, again, cracked ice, whatever. Uh, <laughs> um, let's go with MV. This is the 99048. So the, the vintage nibs, like this particular one is steel. So let me just show you. So the performance of this nib is not going to be reflective um, of the SD itself because this is a totally separate purchase. Just wanna show you that it's an option. Cause it's fun. If you can see the light, the, uh, the ink is like super light. It's Mont Blanc's Vetiver. It's pretty, pretty um, hard to read in this light. Well, actually, it's just generally hard to read because it's very, um, not not unsaturated, but it's very faint. Um, okay. I'm going too fast. So it is a flex nib. It's fun. It makes the SD a lot more versatile. And it's, I don't know, it's just like a fun treat, you know? So let us swap this. So to swap this, it's really easy. All you do is, first of all, I'm going to 
take the converter out. Take that out, take the section off, um, put it somewhere. Put this in. I'm gonna prime it a bit. Hopefully I won't get ink all over myself. Oh, yep, I already got, ah, crap. Got ink on myself. Screw that in, oh, hang on. Got ink all over the section too. Sorry. Yeah, okay, sorry about that. I had to clean up the section a bit. This one's definitely finer. Hence, extra fine. Super fun. I love that you can add these nibs. It just makes the pens a lot more uh, versatile, useful. I don't know, just pretty cool. I'm a big fan. I like what they're doing. I like how they're dealing with the issues they're having or have had with the first batch. Overall, I'm pretty pleased. I don't know why I wrote first. Okay, so thank you again to Fountain Pande and Van Ness for making this review possible. I hope you find this useful, helpful, helps you making a decision. I am going to sign off. I am Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. If you liked, I would really love it if you would. Oh, I'm running dry. I would love it if you would subscribe and like the video because that would be superb. And we will see you for the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.